Are you facing a lot of rejections while blowing your preform? Are you confused since you don't know the reason why this is happening? Do you want to learn how to check the quality of the preforms? Hi, my name is Rohit Agarwal and I'm the owner of General Pet Industries, your packaging partner. Over my 20 years of experience in manufacturing PET preforms and caps, we've helped over 100 blowers both in India and Nepal in maintaining their profitability by providing them the right price preforms and caps. We've educated them on how to check the quality of the preforms they buy with the help of a simple machine called the polarizer. Today, we would be educating you on the same. Firstly, we need to know what a polarizer machine is. This machine emits polarized light. When we view the preforms under this light, we can observe defects and the molecular strain in the preform. We need to observe the preform under this light, both under 45 degrees and 90 degrees. And by using the defect chart, we can find out the defects in the preform. In this chart, there are 12 different defects listed that are found in the preforms. These defects can be caused due to the flaws in the manufacturing process or the raisins that are used for making these preforms. Here are the 12 defects that are listed in the preform defects chart. Thermal degradation. The thermal degradation is caused in preforms due to the following. One is that the temperature of the preform is too high. Apart from that, the non-uniform temperature of the preform during manufacturing and faster cooling of the preform also causes thermal degradation. Excessive crystallinity. This type of defects is found when there is insufficient cooling of the preforms. Additionally, a low pressure or decompression is also a reason for this defect. Preform tip crystallinity. This is caused when the tip of the preform has a very high temperature and there is no sufficient cooling done. Sidewall haze. The sidewall haze in the preform is caused due to the poor operation of the dryer. This can also be caused due to high injection speed. Air bubble. During the manufacturing process, if there are any bubbles trapped in the preform, then this type of defect is found in the preforms. This type of defect can cause lowering of the strength of the bottles. Flow line turbulence. During the manufacturing of preforms, if very high speed of injection is used or the gate length is longer, then it causes the flow line turbulence in the preforms. Sinking or shrinkage. Sinking is caused due to insufficient cooling of the preform along with using of regrinds. In addition to that, there might be a leakage in the non-return valve or there is back pressure that is developed during the manufacturing process. Flash marks or silver streaks. This is also called silver streak defect. This is caused due to a very high amount of holding pressure and holding time. Also high injection time and low decompression rate. Condensation which are basically water rings. When the water leaks and condensation on the mold surface happens, then this defect is caused. Flashing. Flashing in the preform is caused due to the presence of back pressure and higher injection hold time. Short shot or cuts. The short shot is caused due to inappropriate viscosity of the resins as well as due to inappropriate injection speed, mold temperature and nozzle temperature. In India or Nepal, mostly we call the short shot as cuts. I hope this video has educated you on how to save money by simply using a polariscope and the defects chart. With the help of this instrument, you can reject the defective preforms to save time, resources and money. In case you want a copy of the defects chart, I would request you to please leave a comment below so that our team could send it to you. I would also request you to please share this video with your fellow blowers so that they could learn how to check the quality of the preforms. Signing off, see you in my next video.